सेल इंडक्टेंस लक्स ड्यू टू मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फॉर वन टन is proportional to i so for n terms pi into n is directly proportional to i so total flux is li where l is self inductance to this one Induced EMF is minus rate of change of flux, so it is minus L di upon d. SI unit of inductance L is Henry denoted by H or ohm second. Did I clear this? Yes, sir. For solenoid self inductance is mu naught n squared a upon l. Now this I feel this time you can expect something on this. For solenoid self-inductance L 
is mu naught n square upon L. L equals to length, small L is length of solenoid and capital L is self inductance. What is mutual inductance? The phenomenon of EMF induced in secondary coil by changing current in primary coil is called as mutual induction. The phenomenon of EMF induced in secondary coil by changing current in primary coil is called as mutual induction. Suffix 1 we are going to use for primary coil and 2 we are going to use for secondary coil. Done? Now, if phi 2 is flux for unit turn, then N2 phi 2 is total flux. This is equals to mutual inductance M and current I1 flowing through the primary coil. So N2 phi 2 is nothing but total flux associated with secondary. I1 is current flowing through primary. EMF induced in the secondary coil is minus of rate of change of flux associated with secondary. E2 equals to secondary for FS is total flux. Total flux is N2 phi 2. So we can say it is nothing but N2 phi 2 that is nothing but M I1. So minus M D I1 upon DT is EMF induced in secondary coil. Again SI unit of mutual induction is Henry denoted by H or O second. Now if we are taking solenoid then for solenoid mutual inductance M is mu naught tons of primary into tons of secondary so in case of self-inductance, we wrote n square. That n square you think as n into n. One primary, one secondary. Into area A upon length L. Write down this formula. mu naught n1 n2 upon l for inductance or for inductor in series l equals to l1 plus l2 in parallel 1 upon L is 1 upon L1 plus 1 upon L2.
derive expression for energy stored in an inductor derive expression for energy stored in inductor hence obtain expression for magnetic energy density write this heading for hsc board people i feel this time they can ask this expression because it is newly introduced derive expression for energy stored in an inductor hence derive expression for the energy density we want energy stored in an inductor when current i passes through them let i be the current through inductor let i be the current through inductor in time dt second or let di be the current through inductor in time dt second so e is minus l di by dt we are interested in what is energy hello yes sir so this will become energy e is minus l di by dt we want what is work done that is energy emf see i don't know whether you are remembering rate of doing work to move the charge is called as work done so i can say e di by dt so e dt is nothing but l d i e is dw upon dq hello fir sir up par yes sir fir sir yes sir what is formula for emf induced in inductor e equals to ldi by dt yes sir first mathematical part you see ldi by dt in magnitude exam is the word in the paper since i is dq upon dt therefore wherever you see dt you can write dq upon i or we can say i equals to rate of flow of charge e is dw upon dq so i am multiplying by dq on both side therefore e dq is l di by dt into dq therefore work done dw is l i di so total work done is l i di ka integration from minimum current to maximum current so total work done is l i square upon 2 from 0 to i so it is work done is half l i square this is stored in the inductor in the form of energy therefore energy is half l i square okay hello yes sir yes sir koi samajh gaya kya fir se ek bar batao yes sir sir dekho isme aapko pehla dimag mein rakhna e into 
DQ is work done. So wherever you see DQ upon DT, you can write I. Wherever you see DW, you can write EDQ. So I just multiplied with DQ both sides. So this I know it is DW and DQ by DT is nothing but I. Yeah, so I'll write this much. energy density part you have to be careful after completing this so that is energy stored in an inductor comma u is same as half l i square once you complete tell so that i can explain energy density part Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Since magnetic field for solenoid, comma B equals to mu naught. Number of turns upon length into current I. So from this I will be V into L upon mu zero n. Let this be equation one. I am interested in energy density. That means energy per unit volume. Self inductance L for solenoid is mu naught n square. A upon L. Now we got I, we got L. We can substitute these two in energy store. So, okay. This much followed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Substituting values of I, comma L in energy store that is oh sorry that is u equals to half l i square please copy this much then i am substituting this i we got from solenoid wala formula and l we got from self inductance now this i and l will remove to get answer in b hsc board student please by heart last line energy density mcq me they can ask You will get final answer as half b square upon mu naught.
So energy stored u equal to half L i square me putting the values of i and l we get u equals to half l we got mu naught n square a upon l into mu naught l i square i square is nothing but b what you got this as b l upon mu naught into n the whole square so this is half mu naught n square a into b square l square upon length l into mu naught square into n square n square n square cancel one uh, mu naught will get cancel l will get cancel so u upon a into l will become half b square upon mu naught energy per unit volume is called energy density that is energy density equals to half b square upon mu naught i feel that this year you may get in mcq hsc board special energy density in inductor is dash half b square upon mu naught any of you remember energy density near charged conductor in electrostatic chapter it was half epsilon e square e ka analogous is b and epsilon is reciprocal because mu naught upon 4 pi ka constant is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon so ye dono reciprocal hai each other so same thing you are getting from here by analog half half e square b square epsilon is permittivity mu naught okay copy Everybody has done. Can I clear this energy density and energy wala formula? Can I clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So please today only practice because these are difficult, difficult terms. Unless until two, three times you do, you will not remember. next question right define the term mutual inductance a self inductance sorry define the term self inductance and write its si unit orally we'll do this define the term self inductance and write its si unit anybody can tell see e is l di by dt if di by dt becomes 1 ampere per second then e is same as l so self inductance is defined as emf induced in the coil when current changes in the same coil at the rate of 1 ampere per second self inductance is defined as emf induced in the coil when current changes in the same coil at the rate of 1 ampere per second what its si unit is its si unit is this already i told tell henry or ohm second 
self inductance is defined as emf induced in the coil when current changes in the same coil at the rate of 1 ampere per second its si unit is henry or ohm second obtain the expression obtain the expression for the mutual inductance of two long coaxial solenoids s1 comma s2 bound over one other one another each of length L and radii R one and R two and N one and two are number of tons per unit length when current I is set up in the outer solenoid s2 is write the question very important one ध्यान से एक एक टर्म बराबर देखो और प्लीज प्रैक्टिस टूडे इट सेल्फ टू टाइम्स बिकॉज अगेन आई सेड सिंस दिस इज चैप्टर स्पेसिफिक ये खाली एक ही चैप्टर में आता है ये दो टर्म दैट्स व्हाई वी विल टेंड टू फॉर गेट सो वी कैन से फॉर म्यूचुअल इंडक्शन flux is associated with the secondary hello that means number of tons of secondary b2 is proportional to current in primary so flux associated in the secondary due to current in the primary is n into B one, B one means flux of primary is getting associated with secondary that is n two ton. See, I wrote here n two, but flux is of primary which is B one. This is directly proportional to current flowing in the primary. This much clear? Yes, sir. So n two and flux of B one is m into I one. So m equals to n two. Pi of B one upon I one, where m is a constant and called as self inductance of second coil. मतलब सेकेंडरी कॉइल सेकेंड कॉइल विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू फर्स्ट इतना लिखो जरा सो वी कैन से दिस इज एम ऑफ सेकेंड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू फर्स्ट दैट इज एन टू प्लस ऑफ फर्स्ट वन 
डिवाइड बाय आई वन So therefore M M of second due to flux of first will be n2 flux associated is nothing but ab so b of first one and area of second one upon length current i1 so this is nothing but so what is n2 number of turns per unit length na no? So I can write this is n2 into l2, which is number of turns per unit length. Therefore, turn will become n into l into b1 for solenoid is mu naught into number of turns per unit length into current flowing in that coil into area a2 upon i1. i1 i1 will get cancelled. So we get mu naught n1. N two length L two into area A two is mutual inductance, but L two is same as L one equals to L, and A one is same as A two because one coil is bounded on another. The radius we have to take same even though they say R one R two. So A one A two are same. We can take A. M two one is new not N one and N one N two A L. Hello, completed till this? Yes, sir. So this is formula for mutual inductance. A line or like that. So M two one is new not number of turns of first one. Upon length, second one upon length into A into L. So one L will get cancelled. Therefore, we can say it is mu naught n one n two A upon L. This is formula for mutual inductance. Mu naught n one n two A upon L. Based on this one numerical, we are doing so that you get idea of formula. How we can substitute the values of n one, n two, a and l. Okay. Mu naught n one n two into a by l. A long 
with 15 tons per centimeter as a small loop of area 2 centimeter square placed inside solenoid normal to its excess. If current carried by solenoid changes from 2 ampere to 4 ampere in one second in point one second what is induced emf what is the induced emf in the loop what is induced emf in the loop when current is changed The loop and current is changed. Now, the secondary wale ka turn nahi diya hai. So, we can assume that number of turns per unit length of that is 1. A small loop. See. Mutual inductance is mu naught n1 n2 upon into area upon length just now we prove. Here what is number of turns per unit length given for the first wire? 15? 15? 15 diya na shayad? 15 turns. 15. 15. In centimeter they have given? Yes, sir. Yes. So 15 ton per centimeter. Per centimeter means 10 raised to minus 2 meter. Yes, sir. Okay. And N2 is 1. Area A, kitna hai loop ka area? 2 centimeter. 2 centimeter square. That is 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square. So M becomes mu naught, which is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. N1 upon L, 15 upon 10 raised to minus 2. N2 is 1. And area is 2 into 10 raised to minus 4. Any possibility of cancellation? Just check. So, 10 raised to minus 2. 15 twos are 30. 30 into 4, 125. 15 into 2, 30. 30 into 4, 125 into 10 raised to minus 11 into 10 raised to plus 2. So this will become 120 pi into 10 raised to minus 9 Henry. I think mutual inductance part you followed. Now E is M di upon dt in a secondary coil. Hello. <laughs> this we got 120 pi into 10 raised to minus 9. How much is current changing from where to where? 4 and 2 ke beech mein change wana, 4 minus 2 in time 0.1 second okay. copy this much phir khali isko simplify kar. m is mu naught n1 n2 area upon length area you have to take of the coil which is kept inside that means indirectly secondary wale ka. CBSE ka favorite question.
Done, sir. Done, sir. Current flowing in current flowing in the two coils. Current flowing in the two coils of cell inductance L one is sixteen millihenry L two. 12 milli henry are increasing at same rate if power supplied to the two coils are equal then find ratio of induced voltages second the currents ratio of induced voltage and the currents and third energy stored in the coil at given instant Coil set given. Coil set given. We are starting one by one. Question written. Can I remove this? Yes, sir. Sir. Inductance L1 is 16 milli henry and L2 is given 12 milli henry. Induced voltage E1 will be L1 di upon dt in first one and E2 will be L2 di t2 upon i dt. Now current is changing at same rate they have given. So E1 upon E2 will be D1 upon L1 upon L2. Because the rate of change is given same. So E1 upon E2 will be 16 upon 12, 4 by 3. First part over. Second. What is power formula? Is it EI? EI means VI is the power? Yes, sir. Power is same, they are saying. So E1, I1 will be E2, I2. That means E1 upon E2 will be I2 upon I1. 4 by 3 is I2 by I1. So ratio of current will be 3 by 4. Then they want third power energy stored across them. Energy formula is half L I square. So U1 upon U2 equals to L1 upon L2 into I1 upon I2 the whole square. L1 upon L2 is 16 upon 12. I1 upon I2 we got 3 by 4 the square. Hello? Yes, sir. So, one line or 16 upon 12 into 9 by 16, 16, 16 cancel. 3 is to 4. Okay, follow now. Voltage bhi aya, current bhi aagya, energy bhi aagya. Energy is 3 is to 4. This is favorite sum for CBS is well.
डन सर That's all for today. Next again we'll meet on Monday.